Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, we're doing a tier ranking list where I rank the teams who have the best chances of getting the number one overall pick next year. These are the teams that are the worst teams and we rank it all the way from for sure, all the way up here, all the way to only if the best player is injured. So we have all 32 teams here, we're gonna rank them and if your team is on here and I rank it high, I rank it low, comment down below if you agree with it. For more content like this, make sure to like this video, let's hop right into it. The Arizona Cardinals, we're gonna start off with I'm gonna probably say they have, I'm gonna say they have Kyler Murray. Their coaching is, I say maybe. Atlanta Falcons, I'm gonna say unlikely. I mean, they have a dope team, Kirk Cousins, and you know the talent around him. I think they're dope, so I think they actually may win the division. So I'm gonna say very unlikely. I'm gonna say only if injured, if Lamar Jackson, uh, tears his ACL or does something, then the Ravens, the Ravens are not gonna get the number one overall pick. I don't think, I think, I don't know if the Ravens have ever had the number one overall pick. To be honest with you, I think the Ravens are a team that just consistently wins. So we're going to put the Ravens right here. Buffalo Bills, I'm putting you as well, only if injured. I personally don't have the Buffalo Bills making the playoffs, but they're, they're going to be good enough to, for sure, not get the number one overall pick. So definitely down there. Carolina Panthers, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to say there's a couple of these teams that will be in it for sure. And let me say bad teams. I'm going to say bad teams. I'm going to think Bryce Young can make a step forward. I think maybe Bryce Young could take a step up, but I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to hate on these Bryce Young guys. Um, Chicago Bears, I'm going to say that it's unlikely. I have a lot of faith in Caleb Williams, and I have a lot of faith in that team. Their offense, the talent on their offense is really good. So honestly, I, I really think that they're going to be solid. So I don't think, I think they'll be pretty high. Cincinnati Bengals, I'm also putting them only if injured, if Joe Burrow goes down. Deshaun Watson's Cleveland Browns, I'm going to say unlikely. I'm not going to hold them. I was thinking maybe, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to say unlikely. They, they should be they should be fine the dallas cowboys i'm also gonna say unlikely there's there's like a story created where they fall down and they get something like that but i think they'll be fine they, you know dak prescott and that team they're always good enough to get you 11 12 wins it's just are they gonna make the playoffs denver broncos man y'all are i'm not gonna say for sure but you definitely are right here for with the bad teams because the denver broncos they have you know bone nicks is cool uh, I think Bo Nix may have a pretty good rookie season, but, you know, there's not a lot on that team, to be honest with you. There's not a lot to brag about. And I know Sean Payton is, people say he's a good coach, but I, I don't, I don't know. The Detroit Lions, we putting you at only if injured. Their team is really deep, really just top to bottom at the best offensive line in football. They have a lot of things going their way. So for them to get the number one overall pick takes an absolute catastrophic disaster. The Green Bay Packers, I'm going to say unlikely. If Jordan Love takes some humongous leap backwards, then maybe that could happen. But I'm going to say very much unlikely that they're going to, you know, do that. They'll, they'll be fine. The Houston Texans, I'm going to say only if injured. The Texans are an extremely deep team. They added a lot of really big time weapons in the offseason, and it would take an absolute catastrophic failure for that to happen. So we're putting them at only if injured. The Indianapolis Colts, I'm going to say maybe. It's been a while since we get to these maybes. There's been a lot of good, pretty good teams I've been talking about. Um, I'm a, it's, it's maybe because you know, Anthony Richardson, he has a lot of highs and lows. He wants those guys to do, throw four touchdowns or get four touchdowns at three interceptions. Like he could take a step, not even a step back, well, maybe, but he can go backwards and regress and then they actually be terrible. So anything can happen. So I'm, I'm putting them at maybe. Jacksonville Jaguars, I'm saying unlikely. I don't think Trevor, I know people get on Trevor Lawrence for not being the star he's supposed to be, but I don't. I'm not going to say he's going to be, they're going to be up here. They're not going back there. Can't see cheese. Them boys, the main character. That boy is the main character. The only way they, as long as they have 15, they'll be fine. The chargers. I'm going to say maybe there's a part of, like they have a good team. No, I'm not going to say that they have like, you know, John, you know, Jim Harbaugh, who's a good coach, Justin Herbert, but I don't know. The, the team doesn't seem like they have a lot because anything happened. I'm going to say maybe with the Rams too. The Raiders, I'm saying, I'm putting you up here, buddy. Put you right up here, boy. I put that boy right up there. The Raiders, they don't have nobody. Like, they, they quarterback is Gardner Minshew, and he's not not a bad quarterback, but he, they have no direction. There's no, they need a quarterback that's established, and they don't have that on their roster. I, I, they, if they're the worst team in the NFL next year, I wouldn't be surprised. The Miami Dolphins, I'm saying unlikely. The Miami Dolphins, um, they have Tua Tonga Viola. Tyreek Hill, they got a good offense, a good, you know, good team. Very unlikely. Minnesota Vikings, I'm putting you up here as well. They don't have a quarterback either. Sam Darnold is not going to win them anything. They can win three games, four games of Sam Darnold. Like, they're not going to be competitive. So they are very much a 
definitely could be up there. Patriots, I'm putting them in bad teams. They could also be up here. I don't know if Drake May is going to start. I think Brissett's going to start. And I can definitely maybe make them start off the season really wonky. So honestly, I'm going to put them at bad teams. I'm not going to put it for sure. For the Saints, I'm also putting them at bad teams because, you know, honestly, the, the backup with Spencer Rattler, I think that's his name. He's going to get a start over Derek Carr. Derek Carr ain't doing nothing. Funny enough, as I go down here, there's more of these bad teams that pop up. Putting the New York Giants for sure, another team that definitely needs to be bad. Like those top three teams, probably they just need to be bad, right? Like there's no hope for that team at all. And they have Daniel Jones, but Daniel Jones didn't look good in the preseason and that's their quarterback. No Saquon Barkley with them. That sound like a, that sound like hell to me. So them boys, they got a lot to figure out. They probably gonna get that number one pick. The Jets, I'm gonna say unlikely, man. Aaron Rodgers, I could say if injured, I might say only if injured. I think that team is good, really, really deep and really good to the point where they can compete with any of these teams. They just have to have Aaron Rodgers and not a regressed Aaron Rodgers. But if he's injured, then yeah, definitely up there. Philadelphia Eagles, they're deep. I'm gonna put y'all also only if injured because that's a that's a really deep team. They running back Saquon Barkley. They gotta don't don't forget that's a deep football team. They should be they should be good. If not, that means Jalen Hurts took a strong regression backwards. The Steelers, I'm gonna say, man, that could be another for sure. I don't. You know the thing is that that sucks because like Mike Tomlin never he always eight and eight, but then they don't they not good though. They you know. I'm going to say bad teams. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, they didn't look good in this preseason. And I don't know if, if that's going to translate. They might be one of them teams up here. And honestly, I think they need it. I think the Steelers, they need to have a bad season, get a quarterback. Seattle Seahawks, I'm going to say maybe. They don't have a very established quarterback. I mean, they have Geno Smith, but he's not going to win you a Super Bowl. And, you know, it. They, they can always have a bad regression and then just be terrible. They're definitely a mediocre in the mediocre space. Like they'll win eight, nine games, but yeah, you know, they may they may regress backwards. 49ers only if injured. That team's too freaking deep. Tampa Bay is a maybe. Baker Mayfield got the bag, but you never know. He may regress. You never know. Tennessee, part of the bad teams. Will Levis, we don't know about him. The words out of him, but if Will Le if they suck, then Will Levis, he probably not gonna if they can get Shador Sanders, they're not gonna keep Will Levis, in my opinion. So definitely there. And Washington. They got a lot of talent added to the team, kind of weird fits, but I might put that at maybe. I feel like I don't I don't think they're going to get that high pick. I think they'll win some games. I think they won't get a really high. They'll probably win like seven games or something. That's what I feel about Washington. So this is my list. These are teams at top are for sure, like definitely probably getting that number one pick. Bad teams, they may have a shot at it. Definitely one of those teams could, you know, make a run for it. Maybe if things just start falling apart, can definitely be one of those teams. Unlikely, these teams are pretty set, but they really, things really need to go bad for that to happen. And down here, only if injured, if every if injuries are like ridiculing, destroying the team in any way, there's no way these teams get the number one pick unless everything falling apart for them in all aspects. Hope you enjoyed my list and hope you enjoyed this video. For more tier ranking videos like this, make sure to like this video. We're gonna have a lot more really good NFL content as the season is coming nearer and nearer. And we're gonna do more tier ranking videos as well. So if you're liking these, make sure to show some love. We just hit 1200 subscribers. So let's keep adding on. Let's get to the road to 1300 subscribers and check out this video I did yesterday where I react to my man Trey Lance throwing a wonderful five interceptions in his preseason game. So go check that video out. Show us some love as well. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.